I feel really uncomfortable doing that. Come on. So when you open the hood, you'll see all of that. Then you have two screws here. Then you have three bolts that long, go along here, but it have to be under the fender liner to see those. And then you have to make sure you unplug your lights, but I don't have my lights plugged in, so that's not a problem. Then I have two bolts underneath the middle in the front, but that's only because I have my splitter. But then after all of that, the bumper comes right off. Then we'll be taking the wheel off, the inner fender liner, and then the fender will come off. So we're going to take the inner fender line around. There's just a few tabs and we're going to take that out. And don't ask about the screw. So there's a, a bolt right here. And then this is your side marker. Don't ask. I don't know. My fog lights are not working. And then if you look right here, there's one, two, and then three. These are 10 millimeters. You might need an ascension, ascension for this one. And you do this on both sides. And yeah. So after you have the inner fender liner majigger and you have all your screw, and then I already took the bolts out up here, the three, you do this on so I took the bolts out already and I took the inner fender liner majigger. Once you do both sides and you take the other screw out right here, then we're gonna take the tabs up up here. I'll show you the tabs. They're right here. Don't ask me where uh, the top went. Don't ask me where the other ones went. Don't really know. Then you have a 10 millimeter right here. You gotta take off. And then on both sides, and then there's one screw down there, or two bolts, whatever, I don't know, something that holds it together. And then we're going to take the bumper off. Then you need to take your wheel off, your inner fender liner out, you need to take your side, um, side screw out, and then you need to take the fender off. So I will walk you through everything. I already did the driver's side. So I can show you some tips and tricks on how to do it a little bit better because we definitely learned some on the way. Um, but yeah, I'll show you the fender. So I want to take a, so I want to tell you guys that they packaged this so good. They put wood here so that it stays in shape and it was just so protective when I opened the box. I was very impressed. So if you're wanting anything like carbon fiber, for your Camaro, Mustang, whatever, Definitely check them out and see if they have anything for your vehicle. Um, I highly, highly recommend them. I will leave their links down below. I'm wearing their shirt. Auto eyes. So, yeah. So to take the side skirt off, you have two clips here. You have to like pull it kind of down and then you got to whack it this way. And I think there's two clips on the back. <coughs> there's two clips on the back. So as you're pulling that down, you got to slam it this way. We made a trick though for this that when we put it back on, you don't have to put it in sideways, but I'll show you the trick when you put it back on. That's a lot easier. So we're gonna do that first. We also have to take these off, but this is bolted on something else back here. So we have to remove this to remove this because the splitter side skirt is connected to something else and not just the side skirt. And action. So we got the side splitter majigger thingy off. If you want one, they're at Street Arrow, because I get multiple questions about those. And now we're going to take 
factory size girl. And remember there's two tab things here, two tabs there, and then you hit it this way and it goes out on the two tabs here and then the three back there then you pull all of them ones down you might have to use a pry bar and then now you're gonna have to open the door and hit this up good now you hit it your side i gotta pull that back to me I'm oh that. i hit it maybe never pull down on that in the front not underneath yeah no i have it down So you have these little tabs that slide in. They stay on the car for the tops. So we found it easier to take them out of the car and put them directly on here so that everything just pushes in and it's easier instead of having to slide it. So, yeah. So you just take the clip off the car and then you just slide it on. On. So we have a 10 millimeter, a 10 millimeter, a 10 millimeter. You need a small extension because it'll hit your hood. So. Mm. Hey, hey. These are for the bumper. This thing in my jigger key. This. Okay. Mm. Oh fuck yeah! That was so much easier than the flathead. Pull that that thing out. I know. This one right here, and then there's one up there, but you can get that through when you open the door. So, where's mine? Is it, it's a 10, yeah? Yeah. And, oh, that was the one. You can get it like that. open the door you have one right there that you gotta take out
That's how you take your fender out.
that's it for today's video. This is what it looks like. Um, we had trouble. We had trouble lining up the bumper, but yeah, so we had to drill like a couple, I'll show you, a couple, like the holes that go in here when you're coming out this in this way, they didn't align right, so we just drilled them to make bigger holes. That, it's carbon fiber, it's not gonna ever align right or be perfect, and you just gotta know that. So it could be perfect, it could not be perfect, and um, yeah. But if you enjoyed this video, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, check out Auto addicts, and I'll see you guys in my next video. So, we're done. I feel really uncomfortable doing <laughs> Come that. Come on. I don't like recording in front of people. TJ! Okay. Did I do it? Got this. You're a minute in already. Are you serious? Hmm. Okay, don't make me feel weird now. Come on. Sit down. Sorry. Come on, Jenna. So it's it. Oh, no. See, I can't. I can't. Oh.